What's up, everybody? My name is Game Over, and welcome to my top favorite, a my top five favorite anime characters. Now, today we're doing an anime that no one has heard of, and I bet you have not heard of it. I only have one friend who knows about this anime, and she does know a lot of animes. But m one of my friends is like massively knowledgeable about all animes, and yet he never knew that this anime existed. So, what we're gonna be doing is my top five favorite Black Rock Shooter characters. So, I'm just gonna let you all know, I'm just gonna get... Actually, I will, I will leave that, just... Let's just move on with the video. So, now it's for the beginning. So, coming in at my number five, I'm going to choose Strength, also known as you. Now, I'm talking about this you, not that you. Uh, so, the store. So, you is basically... She, or Strength, I'll just call her. Um, actually, I won't. I'll just call her you because she was the original. Sorry, this is very confusing. I don't even get the story. This is just so confusing. So, you was like a girl that was like getting constantly bullied, but she would never show the pain that it was causing her from all around everybody. So she swapped places with her other world self. So now she is this you. And she's, like, overly powerful, but obviously Black Rock Shooter can't, like, beat her. Uh, I can't, like, get beaten by her, so. Um, the reason why she's at my number five, it's because I relate to her. Like, I understand what she's going through and all that. And most of the characters in my top, in this top five favorite anime characters is going to be characters I relate to because I understand where they're coming from. And she made, she hit me right here, which is what this anime did. It hit me right here and I absolutely loved it. It made me feel stuff just like uh, Maria, Nikki, and Sora Online did. It just hit me right in the feels. Coming in at my number four is Yomi. Now, she is the girl that Mato is basically trying to spend as much time as possible with at the beginning, and then weird stuff happens and everything starts going horribly. But the reason why she's coming in at my number four is because I like her character as well. Her, char her character and character arcs are fine-tuned to be almost perfect because you understand where she's coming from and it makes sense for why she's having those feelings so the character arcs and the problems with those characters both make sense in a way that kind of brings life to the anime which is very nice be and like again all of our situations it hit me in the feels and i i can't i i felt really bad about it Ugh, it's just I don't want anything bad to happen to these characters, but this anime is about bad things happening to these characters, so I can't really say anything. Okay, coming in at my number three, it is gonna be Mato. Now, the reason why Mato is coming in at my number three is because she is so goddamn positive! She is too positive and too optimistic. She is the definition of me. She is, like, overly optimistic and overly positive about everything. She is pretty much the girl anime version of me. <laughs> And so just because I related to her with that, she was like, yep, this girl's my number three immediately. Alright, so now coming in at my number two, it is going to be you, also known as Strength. Remember, I'm talking about this you, not that you. So I'm going to call her Strength because that's her actual name. So Strength got swapped with you, so now you is in the other world, and Strength went to the normal world and became friends with Mato and all that. The reason why she... The reason why she's coming in at my number two is because just the character that she is, is so strong and powerful that it's easy, that you can easily fall in love with her. Because it's like, she started out not feeling anything, just fighting because she wanted to stop, like, she wanted to stop people from feeling, like, guilt and all that, and help them through the pain. Then she started feeling you's feelings and got swapped with you. And next minute you know, she lives a life that you wished she could have. And that she got friends and had an amazing life and then had to swap again with you because she ends up dying at the end. Spoilers. Uh, but yeah, it's like the character that she is, the character that she is is so damn awesome. Now, rounding it up to my number one, 
Uh, my number one is obviously going to be Black Rock Shooter. Now, the reason why she's coming out my number one is because I spent so damn long looking all over the internet trying to find this one character because I drew her and liked her character design so damn much. The flipping cannon on her back and the sword, it's all amazing. Now, when I was looking all over the internet, I found two characters. The first character was this guy, who we all good know is Sansy Boy. And then we found and then I found this character, who I like you know, I drew, and I was trying to find her for ages. Then I find out that she wasn't even in an anime, she was in a video game that then got turned into an anime and that had a completely different story from the video game. And it was flipping awesome. So the reason why I like Black Black Rock Shooter, not just because I was looking for her for ages, is because I like her character very, very much. She is very silent, she doesn't say much, but you can still tell that she cares. And by the end, I got a little bit of understanding, but it's still so confusing that I do not understand it. But like, I understand why she did the things that she did. And I love her character so much that it's just gonna go. She is going to be one of my top five favorite all-round characters, just because of her character design and traits. So now we are going on to the part where I just ramble on about the story of Black Rock Shooter, and yeah. So, for all of you who do not want to get spoiled, I highly recommend that you go and watch the anime yourself. It will be flipping amazing, you will love it, it will, it will hit you right here in the feels, and you will not understand anything that's going on, but that's okay, because neither did me. Uh, so, please leave now so you do not get spoiled. Okay, so now going on to all you people who sticked around and did not care about being spoiled. Black Rock Shooter about the, is about this girl called Mato. Now, she is the overly positive and optimistic girl who want, who has never been hated and does not hate anyone. Now, things are going wrong with her high school life. Like, I think she's only just getting out of primary school. Uh, like, stress is starting to kick in and, like, all this bad stuff is happening. And the story is that there, are, that there is another you in another world that helps you through that pain by fighting a bunch of people and it's flipping amazing, it's awesome. So, Mato's other person is Black Rock Shooter, who is basically desecrating everything. Because Mato is, like, holding back her emotions and projecting them onto Black Rock Shooter without even knowing it. Um, but yeah, it's like a whole entire story of Mato trying to become friends with Yomi, uh, and then, like, trying to balance out her friendship between you and Yomi, and then trying to save Yomi from, like, all this depression and all that. It's an amazing anime, and it sends a really good message to everyone. It's just some decisions I don't agree with and wish that they would change because it would make the anime make sense. Like, if the other world wasn't another world, if it was actually just in Mato's imagination, that would be an amazing anime and it would have been amazing. And you could still keep the other world aspect, you just needed to like, make a few changes so then I un- so then the watcher understands what's going on. So... There were a lot of sections where I was like, wait, I thought that this character was evil, but it appears like she was doing that to try and stop this from happening. And the whole entire thing just blew over my head, and I did not get anything that was happening. But like, um... After a while, I watched- I rewatched the ending to- because I remembered something, and I was like, wait, I need to watch the ending again. So I understood why, the only thing that I understood about the ending is why Black Rock Shooter made those decisions that she did. Why she ended up fighting Mato at, in the ending and why she was doing everything that she was doing. It was to help and strengthen Mato for life and that's what I think that she was doing all of that. Because at the ending, you said that they all started fighting because they love and care for their other world self. So, I, after connecting the pieces, I like, I really enjoyed this anime, and it made me feel so many feelings all at once, but some change, but to make it an amazing anime, some changes need to be majorly changed and added. 
Okay, so that's gonna end the video here. Uh, this is definitely not the last that the last that you're gonna hear of Black Rock Shooter because next I'm planning on getting the game because I like Black Rock Shooter as a character design so much that I'm gonna get the game. Now the game is actually completely different. It doesn't have the story of the anime, so you can still get the game while also watching the anime for all of you guys. Uh, but yeah. Thank you all so much for watching this video. If you did like it, please hit that like button. And if you're new to my channel, please hit that subscribe button to see more awesome, amazing videos that are just like this one right here. Halloween is soon. I'm excited for that. And I will see you in the next video.